<laughs> I just found something. I'm hoping it's what I think it is. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Untouched. For 150 years, I just got an awesome eagle button. Shank is still perfect. God, that makes me happy. That makes me really happy. <laughs> That's some serious, sweet roundness in the pock. Good, consistent right there. <laughs> Check that out. Perfect button. Perfect Civil War button right there. That's a good find. Got the back still on it. Exactly what we're looking for. Clean that baby up. Hopefully it's some rare, you know, Confederate button or something. Digging in all these leaves. Look what I found. Oh. oh, look. I got an Indian head penny. Oh, that's amazing. That's my first one. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. Clean it off. So excited. That makes digging in all these vines and schmuck, that makes it worth it. Right there, that wonderful Indian head penny. This wasn't very deep, but it's exciting. I don't know what it is. I think it's a button. Looks like it's got the vestiges of a shank on the back. And it could be an awesome button. I'm going to have to clean up a little bit to find out what it is for sure. Roundness, baby. I got roundness right here. Holy cow, look at the size of that. Check this out. I cannot believe what I just found. I've never found one of these. This is really cool. Holy cow.
check it out. KG is going to be upset. Look at the G in the middle. Does anybody recognize that symbol? Masan, baby. I got Masan in the pock. <laughs> Big roundness. Yeah. Check this out. This is KG here. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of pointers here. I am in a giant washed out gully and you can't believe the amount of stuff that gets washed down in these big canyons and if you just get in here you take your time you use your metal detector go slow amazing what you'll find I'm gonna hope to find some stuff in here but this is a steep gnarly canyon you gotta be careful of snakes bugs and avalanches and giant rainstorms that could bring a gully washer down and wash it all the way down to the ocean. All right, come with me, see what we can find. Check this out. Look at that right there. Looks like an old time watch back. Been washed down from up on one of the hills above me. I just started in this canyon and I've already found a brass watch back. So we'll continue on. Hopefully we'll have some more for you. Look at this, I'm going up this giant gully. I got a perfect hit. Let's see what it is. Look at that. Check that out. Civil War button right down in the middle of the gully. That's cool. We're gonna keep hunting, see what else we can dig out of the gully. Musket ball in the gully. This could be awesome. This sounds freaking great. Oh, 
I see the edge of something really shiny. I'm telling you, I think I got some silver. <laughs> Not only do I have silver, I think I got a little bit of G also. Silver and gold in one hole. Check it out. That thing has to be sterling silver. I can't see the mark yet, but I'm guaranteeing you, look at that, it is just shiny. Sterling and it's got gold inlay on it. Probably just a little bit of plated gold, but that is pretty darn cool. Solid silver buckle. Pretty awesome buckle. Man, that sounded great. I thought I had like a half dollar in this hole. I mean, it's just screaming silver. Beautiful. I'll take silver and gold any day. Nice. Musket ball! Mm -hmm. The nectar's a flowing. Oh, look at that. Man, this sounded so good when I hit it. I actually thought it was like a dime. It sounded like a silver dime instead of a, what it is. <laughs> Another perfect eagle button. Oh, I think this one might have something in the middle of the shield, too. Hold on. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's an infantry. Something in the middle of that shield. I'm gonna need something to see it, but it's so dirty. It's tough to tell. Perfect little shank on the back. Fired mini ball right there, buddy. Another Civil War fired mini ball. You could dig them all day. They put a smile on your face. Very cool. Way it's ringing, it may be a big old 69. I'm gonna stuff it. There it is. That's interesting. 
Might actually be a gun part or something. Look at that. Could be a, a little tiny gun part. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Keep that. Check this out. Slow start today, I got one little round, tiny round ball, you know, and I'm thinking it could be a pistol shot maybe, but most likely it came out of, you know, maybe buck and ball, who knows. But this time, I'm pretty sure I got something good. It's under this massive root here, but it was just screaming. So let's go take a look. Look at that, I can see it already. I pushed it out from the other side. Look at this. Fired mini ball. Look at that. Slightly mangled because of its trajectory. Probably whacked off of a tree or something. Landed right here and it's been here since 1863. Somehow the back end of it got smashed flat but not the front end. That's kind of weird. I don't care how many of these you dig up. You know, I know people that have like drywall buckets full of them in the garage because you think about the Civil War, all the firing that went on there. I mean, there are literally a million of these or more out there. But you dig these up, you sense the history. It's a cool piece of American history right here. Everybody can learn from it. I love it. And Ringy got to dig this one up. that baby out. Infield mini ball. Cool, I just found an awesome mini ball and as I was swinging my detector I heard another one. I'll bet you there's another mini ball sitting right up here. Right there. Baby. Another mini ball coming right up. Right there. Look at that. <laughs> Another one. Two fired mini balls right beside each other. So you know there's probably some guy hunkered down right here during the Civil War and everybody was shooting at him. That's why these bullets are probably so close together. Probably some Confederates right here. The Union was storming the hill. There was an intense battle. Otherwise, there wouldn't be two bullets so close to each other. Aha, uh -huh. that worked for that one. <laughs> Dropped mini ball. Check this out, this is pretty cool. I just found two infields that were fired right here. And now I found a three ringer, which a lot of times the North carried right here. Could have been some intense battle going on right here. Cool. That one was deep. Oh yeah. High tone, ringing up around 81.
kind of buckle. Oh, good find. Clap's still on the back. I bet it is. I've already found one of them. believe that right here where George and Tim had already been detected and they missed this coin can you believe that they missed this coin hmm see girls can metal detect <laughs> <laughs> so are you happy? I am very happy. I have oh, leaves and an Indian head penny right there. See? Very Fine. nice. <laughs> <laughs>